welcome back. You're watching Real Estate. As the steam in India's much touted financial capital and the national capital region starts to cool off, we tell you how small pockets in metro cities like Whitefield in Bangalore, Gachi Bali in Hyderabad, and Viman Nagar in Pune are fast catching up. Experts believe that these cities are likely to generate returns anywhere between 50 to 20 percent. Sapna Dhanwani takes you through the top five cities that you should consider before making that investment. Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Delhi, Noida, Gurgaon. These cities have expanded and grown beyond imagination. You might be a little sad that you didn't make the move when the development was at its peak, but you will be glad to know you haven't missed the chance altogether, since lesser famous places are now exceeding expectations. This new year has enough and more options that you could choose from to make your investment. To talk about places that have delivered attractive returns in the year gone by, Whitefield in Bangalore and Viman Nagar in Pune will definitely top that chart. The lesser known places, Gachi Boli in Hyderabad and Rajarhat located in southern Kolkata are also providing tough competition to the well-established corridors of Mumbai and NCR. According to a latest JLL report, Whitefield in Bangalore has surprised investors and developers alike. Fast developing infrastructure across the IT city has gotten NRIs in its favour. Whitefield is located about 20 kilometres from the city. A slew of residential activity as well as the number of malls that have come up in this region is bringing all the action from the much flaunted Brigade in MG Road. Proximity to IT parks and MNCs makes this place a haven for engineers and CEOs alike. According to the same report, prices in this region are likely to escalate 15% in the next 12 months. Close enough are the southern suburbs of Chennai. This includes places like Old Mahabalipuram Road and the East Coast Road. Prices in the OMR Road have already shot up by 55%, according to data from research firm IndiaProperty.com. JLL expects prices in this region to further escalate by an additional 8-10% to by the end of 2014. The consensus largely remains that South Indian markets are likely to perform better in 2014 and Chennai is going to be the jewel in that crown. Pune, that has traditionally been a holiday home favourite, is now fast catching eyeballs. The place has seen a firm NRI and HNI interest. Experts believe Viman Nagar and Nagar Road are likely to see a price jump of 5 to 8 per cent in the coming year. Remember, prices in this region have gone up by 65 per cent in the last four years. With the coming in of the international airport and better connectivity to the financial hub, end users are now looking at Pune seriously. Moving back down south, Gachi Bol in Hyderabad is likely to be an area of your interest if you are looking to make hay while the sun shines. The quiet southern city has seen capital values appreciate by almost 45% in the last four years. Gachi Boli, located about 22 kilometers northwest of Hyderabad, is likely to see a price appreciation of 15 to 20 percent, according to JLL's Emerging Investments Hotspot report. Rajarhat or Newtown is a planned township located only about 8 kilometers from the airport. Rajarhat has been divided into three areas, one mainly consisting of malls, the second will be a sub-CBD and the third one is the planned residential town. The place is a little far from main Kolkata and connectivity remains a major issue. But Rajarhat is a stone's throw away from the classy Salt Lake City. Several IT majors have set up base while others like TCS and Wipro are likely to start operations soon. This place is going to be a hit with corporate and IT biggies as it ensures that you don't have to enter the cramped roads of Kolkata if you are there for business purpose. Real estate companies like DLF, Unitech, Shapurji Palanji, Singapore-based Keppel Land, Ambuja Realty are developing commercial, retail and residential projects in Rajarhat. The area is likely to see residential prices appreciate by over 10% in the next one year. 
so that was all about what the country has to offer but if you're looking for a home away from the motherland then there are enough and more opportunities abroad the luxury spells some of these world class cities will cost is surely difficult to resist sapna dhanwani takes you house hunting to the top 5 cities around the globe If you're not convinced of the Indian real estate boom in this brand new year, then looking overseas could be the best option. While it will cost you almost the double and sometimes triple, the returns will make sure you forget the pain. If luxury, extravagance and indulgence is something on top of your list for a home, then the grass is definitely greener outside the home country. The top 5 cities according to Knight Frank's Global Prime Index are cities like Jakarta, Dubai and Shanghai that have provided an average return of 20% in the last 12 months. It's imperative to note 4 out of 5 of these top investment destinations lie in Asia. Starting with Jakarta on top, Dubai ranking second, followed by Shanghai and St Petersburg in Russia. While Dubai and Shanghai have traditionally been all-time favorites, Jakarta has emerged as a star as far as global investment destinations in 2013 are concerned. The Indonesian capital, located on the northwest coast of Jawa, is the country's economic, cultural and political center. The residential property prices in this region have shot up by 28% in the last one year, according to data from Knight Frank. The city has outperformed well-established peers such as Kuala Lumpur, Shanghai and Bangkok. The secret to Jakarta's quick growth is none other than the government's well-thought expenditure plan. Also, the country has emerged as a major trading hub for textile, automobile and manufacturing in the South Asian region. A spacious 3 BHK home in Jakarta will cost you nothing less than 7 crore rupees. The most famous and talked about city, Dubai has seen prices escalate as much as 20% in the last one year. The city has emerged a phoenix after the 2008 shocker. Claimed for years that Dubai is a shopper's paradise is proven beyond reasonable doubts. Now even for those who are looking for that luxury home dose. Spoiled for choice is an understatement as this city personifies luxury. If that doesn't attract you enough, an average 20 to 25% return on your investment within a year definitely will. As the city will now host the Expo 2020, the returns are not only assured, they might just surprise you on the upside. 3 BHKs in Dubai demand nearly 8 to 15 crore rupees. Shanghai, one of the most resilient real estate markets, has seen prices shoot up by 18% in the last 12 months. A 3 BHK here is likely to cost you anywhere between 20 to 30 crore rupees. The Chinese heart has always been an evergreen investment hotspot as far as Asia is concerned. The steam continues in Shanghai and investors still can't get enough. According to a report published jointly by PricewaterhouseCoopers and US research organization, the Urban Land Institute, Shanghai ranked second out of 23 Asian countries in terms of investment prospects. Experts believe that Shanghai offers a level of comfort to newly arrived home buyers and funds with a mandate to place money. Moving on, St. Petersburg in Russia has also stood strong as far as capital value appreciation is concerned. The residential property prices in the city have impressed investors and fund managers with a 15% return on their investments in the last 12 months. The Russian city is a major trade gateway, financial and industrial center of Russia specializing in oil and gas trade. A 3 BHK in St. Petersburg is likely to cost you anywhere between 25 to 35 crores. Lastly, an address known all over the world, New York, has seen prices appreciate by 14% in the last one year. Data according to consulting firm Knight Frank shows that New York is likely to remain a steady growth market, providing returns of 14 to 16% going forward. While the affordability has gone for a toss in this swanky American locality, it continues to stay on every luxury home buyer's mind. The tag for a basic home in New York is 60 crore rupees. 
All right, it's time for a short break to get our expert opinion on your property matters. Feel free to call us or email us. Details coming up on the screen. On the other side, we discuss the outlook of the real estate sector in 2014 with Sanjay Dutt, the executive of South Asia with Cushman and Wakefield. More on that in just a bit. Keep watching.